sent on their way from the 1200 meter marker. At your request is right there, Circe with a good position, Purple Merchant is along the inside, they are followed by Royal View and then comes Fort Royal who is also well positioned, Colour of Light is the grey, Elrond on the inside, then Viso's Magic, Sarabi is further back in the running and then we drop back to Mocker Rose who is about 7 or 8 lengths off the leader. Royal View now takes it up, Circe, Fort Royal. Purple Merchant is along the inside, then comes Colour of Light. They are followed by At Your Request, then comes Sarabi, Visa's Magics further down the run. As they come to the 400 metre marker now, Royal View is the leader. Purple Merchant is thrown out the challenge, Circe is on the outside. Fort Royal is also trying to get into the race as they come down to the 200 metre marker. Purple Merchant now, Circe, Royal Views on the inside, then Colour of Light and Sarabi. It's Purple Merchant still the leader over the last 100 metres. Purple Merchant, Colour of Light trying to throw out the challenge, but Purple Merchant's going on, and Purple Merchant has won it. Colour of Light second, Sarabi third, and Fort Royal ran fourth. Number two, Purple Merchant, the trippy Alison Wright, Hollywood Syndicate, ends up at 390 and wins it. Lyle Lewitson is the winning rider, bred by Miss M. Patterson, second to Colour of Light, third position, Sarabi, and then Fort Royal, and further back, Royal View. The toad favourite ended up number five, Fort Royal, and Purple Merchant moves through between runners, Sir C's in the green, Fort Royal's on the right, and then Royal View, but Purple Merchant goes on back-to-back -back victories. Until the eighth race, back to the studio. Race number seven has gone the way of Purple Merchant, the trippy filly for uh, Alison Wright, M Miss Patterson, Hollywood Syndicate, Lyle Hewitson. And uh, it's a joyous winner's enclosure. Nice to have James here with us as always and the whole Hollywood team. But uh, Robert is the groom. Well done to you, Robert. You're holding your envelope with 1,000 Rand proudly. Your, your filly looked really nice and, and you can be excited for the future. She's very nice. Well done. Thank you. Okay, there we go. It's Robert sorted. Well, I did press you a little earlier on asking, you know, about her and, and, and Alison as well, because she looks to be a very exciting prospect. But we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. But we were impressed on debut. We're more impressed today. Yes, I think she's a nice prospect. I don't think, like you say, we must get too ahead of ourselves just yet. Um, I was reserved, you know, obviously I, I, I said I think she's a, a nice filly, but um, had my reservations, uh, you know, going onto the grass and a uh, a rain affected Polly, you know, into uh, probably not a strong division, but where there's solid horses running yes. uh, consistently. So, um, yeah, it was really nice. Things worked out well. I, I wanted her to, to follow something, and she got that. Traveled a little bit keen in the first furlong, and then dropped her head and just went through the paces. And um, you'll notice, topped her straight. I sort of got after her and chased her into that space, and thereafter took a seat again just to help her find her feet. And after I did that, I just felt, felt to build momentum, and uh, she stayed on strongly through to the line. So I'm very impressed, and two from two is a good record. And it's also wonderful that uh, she's shown the turf. She can go to the poly, and it opens more doors for everybody. And, uh, yeah, as I said, we don't want to get too excited, but uh, she's done nothing wrong so far. Certainly. Um, I, I must agree with you. And just well done to, to Mr. and Mrs. Wright. I think they've done a great job. He's also taken over well. And um, it's always a pleasure to ride them winners uh, to Hollywood. Um, yeah, the support's been continuous, and I really appreciate it. And uh, to win in this daughter of Trippy, I hope they visit Drakenstein at the sales in the next days. Absolutely. Well done. Thank <laughs> Th you, Lyle. Thank you very much, and well done to my sponsor, Drakenstein. Drakenstein Stud are the man, are the uh, team that support uh, Lyle and yeah, by Trippy, this horse. And Alison, thanks to you, because you know when you were going to give Lyle a leg up in the parading, I came and sauntered up next to you, and we had a look at this filly together, and I, I, you said she's a, she's a good looker. She, she looked well-muscled, and, and I said 
uh, and, I, and I must be careful how I say it. I, I said that she, I don't think you've got to the bottom of her because she looked like she's still got room to tighten up and to strengthen up. Am I right in that assessment? Yeah, or in this, and she's a, a beautiful looking filly. Um, she, she's a big filly and um, she's done nothing wrong today, you know. Um, she, she had the draw. We, we're obviously concerned about, as Lyle said, about going from the grass onto the poly today. That's, that's a bit rain affected, but yeah, she's done nothing wrong. So well done to Hollywood. Great to have a double today for them, and yeah, once again, thanks very much for the support. Well, you've said it all. You've just got the one more Johnny Black coming up uh, just now, and uh, he's been haunting us all day today. We've got to <laughs> let's see how he runs. Yeah, hopefully he runs a better race. But I must just say a big well done and thank you to Sally Brush. You know, she told Kevin about this filly who was on the Cape Town ready to run sale last year. He said she she said to Kevin, I've got a lovely filly, hasn't got the greatest of legs, and um, but she's shown nice work at home and. When we watched the gallop, I said to Kevin, my goodness, how do you buy a horse on that? She came pronking down the track and we were like, yes. Anyway, well, thanks, Sal, and well done to Kevin. You know, he, he loved her when he saw her and, um, yeah, just very happy. Thanks again to Hollywood Bears for their sponsors. Nice to have all the guys here. Oh, great day. Well done, Alison. Great Thank day you. and long may it continue for the rest of the day. And for Sunday, you'll see we interviewed Alison about their runners for Sunday's racing. But uh, there's Snare again and she's brought her friend with. <laughs> Wonderful to have the ladies with you. And uh, you've got to be exciting, uh, excited, uh, James, because, yes, it, it's, it's a, it's a midweek race meeting, but she's certainly going about it the right way. She is certainly attractive. She is, isn't she? And, I mean, she's obviously got the pedigree behind her. Uh, she does look progressive. I think a bit of credit needs to go to uh, Kevin right here because, I mean, I remember standing with him at the sale, and we said we had our limit. We said we are going to go to 110,000. And, uh, and he just, we got there and, uh, and we needed one more bid, and, and he said, I'm going to go for it. And, uh, and thank goodness he did because <laughs> look what's happened. Absolutely, you've got to take that extra step sometime, and yeah. Uh, yeah. But well, nice to have the team. Everyone's on course, and uh, the, the whole you know, you can see the joy that this filly's brought to the to, to the whole team. And yeah, well done to you. Not much more to say, and, and just nice to have everybody on course. Well done. Thanks a lot. I mean, it obviously helps having the likes of Anton Marcus and Lyle Hewitson riding for our, for us at the moment, and uh, picking up the rides where they can. Uh, their experience is obviously always welcome and uh, yeah, well done to Alison and, and her team. I think they've done a splendid job for us uh, over the last couple of weeks and long may it continue. And obviously, as you mentioned, it's brilliant to have the team on course with us today. Well, don't let the team go too far because there's more to come. Uh, Alpha Mike Foxtrot, uh, the one with Gary Rich, so there's a few more horses to come. Maybe we'll be talking again just now. Wouldn't that be nice? Lovely. Lovely to have James Everett and the whole Hollywood team. Let's see if we can get the Hollywood team on, on camera shot. There they all are. They uh, have a look at the there they go. That's the team. Hollywood Syndicate, they're all here. And uh, they've come to enjoy racing this afternoon. Two, nine, eight, and five. Those are the numbers that you're going to need. Well done to Purple Merchant. We're excited about her because she's certainly going about it the right way. But uh, really a nice looking filly. Two, nine, eight, five. Two more to come. We'll talk to you just now.